Hello nerds, welcome to my review of the Steel Series Rival and the Sensei 310. That's right, I'm killing two stones with one bird this time around. There's literally no point on me doing two separate ones apart from the extra ad revenue that I'll never get anyway. Subscribe to my Patreon. So quickly now, let's go through these specifications. Both mice are using the same sensor that Steel Series call the True Move 3. Yeah. Apparently it's like their own take of the Pixar 3360 sensor, much like how Logitech named theirs, the 3366 etc. Well, I, I guess that's what they do, I'm not really smart with these things. Anyway, they both have the same DPI steps going from 100 to 12,000 in 100 increments. They both have a 1000Hz polling rate on one switches and they support 16.8 million colours. The rival has six programmable buttons, it's 127mm long, 42mm tall and as SteelSeries supplied this information which is really appreciated on their website directly, it's 57mm wide at the front, 62mm wide in the middle and 70mm wide at the back. The mouse weighs 88.3 grams without the cable. For the Sensei, it has eight programmable buttons, obviously with the two side buttons on either side of the mouse, and it's 125mm long, 39mm high, and 16mm at the front, 61mm in the middle, and 70mm at the back, and the mouse weighs 92 grams without the cable. Now onto the shapes, the rival is a more ergonomic design, it's not like my G403 as this is slightly more of a neutral shape and I really like it. I feel as though I'm resting my hand on it in some ways and it's more comfortable to use in the long run. I find after a lot of intense gaming with the G403 my hands can feel a bit stiff. With this I have no problem, I feel this is helped by the size being a bit flatter so I'm not really clenching the mouse as much. The only downside to this shape is the bottom left side which at first felt a bit pointy if that's the right word. On the G403 and other mice it's more rounded but here it feels like I have a part of the mouse pushing into my palm. However, after a few weeks now I've gotten used to it to the point where it's not really noticeable. The side buttons on this mouse are really fat, they are easy to reach without getting in the way despite their large size. You get some rubberized grips on both sides of the mouse which are actually both rubber and grippy. But, but I would have preferred it if the coating that features on the rest of the mouse was there instead because the coating is lovely. I don't get sweaty sticky nerd hands with this mouse even after I've ejaculated on them. So for the rival everything is good for the shape and the comfort side of things. Now for the Sensei it's a bit different, the shape I really like with a really standard ambidextrous design that's quite flat. I found this is comfortable to hold in my delicate and smooth hands. Once again just like the rival my hand would just rest on it comfortably. Paired once again to a G Pro, the sides are curved in, forcing me again to have a bit more of a clawish type grip without me really palming it as much. It has the same coating of rubberized grips, the side buttons however are a bit smaller in this mouse but they also place further down which as I found means that you can easily press them by mistake. There is almost there's no gap in between my thumb and the side buttons so those with chunkier or also known as man sized hands should be cautious, especially if you're like me and you do squeeze your mouse a fair bit. Both mice share the same rubberized cable which is nice and thin and doesn't get in the way. The scroll wheels are identical but for some reason the one on the rival sits a little bit further down than the sensei. Regardless, like them both said so they both received my scroll wheels feel real this joke is getting real stale seal of approval. In terms of software everything is fine, you can make the desired changes that you need and all that crap. My main criticism is that with the DPI switcher you only have Two options. Now I guess it's not so bad but honestly I'd like to have the option of selecting more. You can have your profile saved on the mouse so you don't have to go through with having to make a pro edition of a fucking driver or some shit and then sign into a fucking fuckwit account and only then can you have your preferences on the mouse that you paid £70 for because fuck you it's Razer. Now, there are some downsides, whereas in-game performance is really good for both mice and I absolutely love them, there was a problem. Every so often in every game that I played my weapon would switch. Now I can only assume this is down to the scroll wheel, I've used two other mice in conjunction with these and I don't have this issue with the other mice. Naturally unbinding scroll wheel solves this issue but regardless this isn't good. And it also happened with both of the 310 series of the mice which is super weird. It's not like the scroll wheel was moving, it's almost as if it was being triggered by something and this would happen kind of regularly. Now I've been trying to get the fault to replicate but it just seems to do it at random intervals. The other problem only relates to one of them which is the Sensei. Now this thing rattles a lot, the mouse 1 and 2 switches feel kind of mushy and if I move my finger side to side whilst resting on them I can feel the buttons moving and this is super distracting in game. With the rival there is sometimes a slight mushy feeling on the switches but it's very rare. 
but on the Sensei it happens all the time. Shaking the mouse confirms that it is the buttons that's causing it. This is kind of a letdown because I would probably want to use the Sensei more as it's nice to hold, but the side button placement of Fragile Mouse 1 and 2 switches are very off-putting. So if these my switch should be in theory identical, the rival is my preferred. I don't feel comfortable using it either because of the scroll wheel issue, which is a bit of a shame, and compared to my G403 still, they still feel kind of flimsy, as it's so consistent in comparison to both of these, where I just kind of don't feel like it's robust. Overall I'd recommend these, but do use cautions that you don't have the same build quality problems that I experienced. It's really good to see Steel Series move away from the bullshit gimmick mice like the Rival 700 with the hot swappable sensors, OLED display and 3D printable backs, and the Rival 500 with the DDR pad put on the side. I've been Warhayer, professional pro game and peripheral reviewer, and if you've been watching Warhayer reviews, like don't forget to like and subscribe and smash that like button because yeah, and see you next time. Goodbye, don't forget to visit my Patreon.